Nice reference to Ex Machina at the end there. Absolutely jaw-dropping. It was just over a year ago that Tesla showed us Generation 1 of Optimus Tesla Bot. Now look at it. In the time it's taken me to build a YouTube channel, almost to the day, it's my first birthday on the 15th of December, woo! Tesla have been busily building this seemingly impossible, useful humanoid robots. Just hearing those words is a bit weird, isn't it? Optimus has dramatically changed and improved since we last saw him having fun sorting blocks, so let's play spot the difference then. These are brand new hands, just look at the freedom of movement here, amazing! These now look to be best in class for any robot, giving maximum abilities for any scenario. I don't want to dump on the engineers at Amazon here for creating these, as it's way better than I could do, but a bit embarrassing in comparison to a Tesla bot, isn't it? They didn't even bother making fingers, just big flaps! Anyway, where were we? Looking at its head now, Optimus definitely has more freedom of movement from the neck as it couldn't look around before. The fabric below its head nicely stretches and accommodates head movements too. That's very satisfying for some reason, and gives Optimus some softness somehow. Its feet now look to be hinged as well, helping with walking capabilities and a 30% increase in walking speed. Notice some aluminium parts here seem to have been replaced with plastic parts too, which will give cost and weight savings. And in the interest of accidentally bringing on evil death creating robots, I'm pleased to see that Tesla have so far taken my advice of not including red light bulbs in them. Turns them evil every time, just don't do it. Ok, let's enjoy watching the dexterity of this thing. Tactile sensing on all the fingers allows it to delicately move a bunch of eggs, performing extremely delicate object manipulation with precision. These are entirely new hands compared to its predecessor, and the sensing of the fingertips allow Optimus to gauge the pressure it needs to apply on an object, like this egg, which it understands if it puts too much pressure on it, it'll break. Pick up a metal object and the fingertip sensors will understand it can grip it with greater force. And I know what you're thinking, yes one day it'll be absolutely fine to hold that in its hand and do what's necessary. What's so unique and remarkable about what Tesla have achieved with Optimus is its brain, or computer chip technically, which happens to be located in its chest, not the head where some people keep their brains. Optimus was already capable of self-calibrating its own arms and legs, using only vision and joint positioned encoders. It could precisely locate its limbs in space. And we already know that accurately calibrated, Optimus was learning various tasks more efficiently. It could be trained to conduct new tasks autonomously. It could do this because its neural network is trained fully end to end, video in and controls out. Just like Tesla's full self-driving version 12, feed it a ton of video training data and it will be able to learn what to do and carry out tasks accordingly. That right there should send shivers down any thinking person's spine, not Optimus, it's obviously it's spineless, but it's self-learning. This is not coded to carry out tasks and tantalisingly close to artificial general intelligence. This really is history in the making, and I hope you consider and see the mind-blowing benefits this will bring to society. Tesla Optimus today looks totally capable of working in factories, carrying out repetitive tasks and providing extraordinary value to the company that owns it. It's been more than obvious for some time that Elon Musk and Tesla fully intend to use Tesla bots along their production lines, produce them en masse, eventually sell them to other companies, and to you and me too. Consider the possibilities of jobs for this fella, and it's pretty mind-blowing. Bomb disposal bots, mining bots for all those battery materials we're going to need, builder bots that will construct factories and build more bots, then there's SpaceX rocket production lines, getting a wriggle on building a moon hotel, Mars infrastructure, it's coming people, this is not just blind optimism, it's actually happening now. The only scalable solution for autonomous cars is coming from Tesla. The only scalable solution for building useful robots is also coming from Tesla. Not just from their technical and software advantage, but their ability to scale manufacturing to ludicrous levels. We've heard Elon's thoughts on this in the past as to the possibility of a one-to-one -one ratio of humans to Tesla bots. Click the card in the corner to watch the video I did about that a while ago, it's well worth a watch if you want to know more about the future robot uprising. Whether 8 billion bots terrifies you or comforts you as to the potential improvements to humanity is another thing. For me, I'm very thankful that Tesla, a company with a strong moral compass, is at the forefront of this technology and we are not staring down the barrel of a Billbot or a Zuckerbot. It's weird, isn't it? Why haven't other car companies, or any company, built their own robots to carry out monotonous, boring tasks, not to mention the future benefit of a free labour workforce? It's an easy answer, really. They ain't Tesla, are they? Other companies do not innovate and engineer at the speed of thought, or have a CEO that is hell-bent on building a better future for humanity. 
as some of us have known for quite some time now, Tesla is not just a car company. When might Wall Street and retail investors such as myself wake up to the opportunity of this and realise that Tesla is building a better future for all of us? Who knows, but I'm doing all I can to point out this obvious fact. Tesla will become the biggest, most profitable company on earth. Do with that what you will. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think of this third generation Tesla bot? Are you as optimistic as me to the potential here or damn right terrified as to what's coming? Either way, the future won't be boring, will it? And thanks to my wonderful Patreon supporters for helping get my channel off the ground and hopefully one day to the moon. I'm Will, this is the Tesla Jigsaw. Bye for now.